Hi, YouTube. Okay, today's topic is going to be further explanation of why we may not be able to be productive right now. I saw this video a few days ago <clears throat> where a therapist was discussing this topic of how we're feeling in the COVID-19 epidemic, pandemic, and she brought in the issue of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And I was like, wow, that is really helpful. So I enjoyed listening, watching a video. And I thought, you know, let me, let me share this too. Because it visually explains some of what we're emotionally going through. So I wanted to share this. So some of you may be familiar with um, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. I believe his first name is Abraham. Um, I just know Maslow's hierarchy of needs, and it's a pyramid. Now, I took a screenshot of this and printed it. It's not a very good printer, but I couldn't find a great picture of it. So, anyway, so it's, it looks like that. So, and I don't know if this will be the right way for you all or backwards. Anyways, let me just explain what the, um, what this is. So, at the bottom of the pyramid is physiological so these are physiological needs, our body needs, are like survival needs. Breathing, okay, this is what this particular diagram has on it. Breathing, food, water, sex, sleep, homeostasis, that's maintaining, you know, like a chemical balance in your body, and excretion, getting rid of waste. So that's the very bottom, basic physical needs. The next layer is safety needs. <clears throat> safety needs include Security of body, security of employment, security of resources, security of morality, of the family, of health, and of property. So these are safety and security needs. So that's next. So once your body is alive and functioning, then safety is the next thing we need. The third level of the pyramid is love and belonging. And in the love and belonging section, they list friendship, family, sexual intimacy. So, so relationships are in the love and belonging. Next up on the list is esteem. And we're almost to the top. Esteem, self-esteem, confidence, achievement, respect of others, respect by others. So now we're moving more into it's the heart stuff. It's the emotional stuff. And then at the very top, to be top of your pyramid is self-actualization. And self-actualization includes things like morality, creativity, spontaneity, problem solving, uh, lack of prejudice, acceptance of facts. So at the very top of the pyramid, we're talking about this is your higher brain functioning. This is your executive functioning. This is planning. This is learning. This is, this is all the stuff that, you know, when you're trying to figure out what to eat today, like you don't need to learn algebra. So, so let's put this into context. If you are an individual who is only inconvenienced by the pandemic, if you're still working remotely, if you're still receiving an income, if you're living in a fairly safe environment, like you have a home to live in, you have an apartment, you have a place to be, you have a physical place to be, if you have income, if you have food, if you have, you know, food, clothing, shelter, then your, the baseline of the pyramid is still being met. So like, you're okay. And then the next level, if you have food, clothing, and shelter, and you're well at the moment, you know, like you're not sick right now, then the next thing is security. So again, if you've got food, clothing, and shelter, if you have access to resources, like you have, you're still working or you still have income or you have some resources to back you up right now, then your second level is also safety. You, you are safe. You're relatively safe. This is all very relative, but you're relatively safe. So... If you're annoyed by the, you know, by the virus changes, but, you know, you've still got food, clothing, and shelter, you're still taking care of your family, nobody in your family's sick, 
then your your the bottom two levels are still intact. The next level is love and belonging. And again, if you have some friends, if you have relatively loving family you live with, if you have connections, even if right now you are only connected remotely, then your love and belonging level may also be met right now. Like that might be stable, which then moves you to esteem and possibly into self-actualization. So for, for those of us, well, and I'm saying us, I'm an American, I live in America, so I'm speaking from an American point of view. So for those of us that are relatively privileged or very privileged, for those of us who are living in a safe environment, who still have food, food, clothing, water, shelter, we still have food, we still have access to relative safety. Yes, our schedules are a little disrupted. No, we can't do everything we want to do every day, but, but we're okay. Then for those of us in that situation, we may be able to get some stuff done. We may be able to be creative. We may be able to tackle a home project. We may be able to enjoy the extra free time. We may be able to do some decluttering or, or do some spring cleaning with relative energy. However, as I've been seeing on some posts on Facebook, we are not all in the same boat. So there are individuals who, now everyone is being impacted to some degree. Absolutely. Um, very few, I don't know. I mean, everybody's being impacted. So, I mean, some people have enough resources that even if they lose part of their income, they're okay. Other people are not okay if they lose part of their income. And that's what I think that is, that's a part of what's going on. So if you're one of the folks who, you know, your, your physical needs are not being met, you don't have a safe place to live or you don't have a place to live, or it's very, whether it's safe is not a for sure thing. Um, some people are stuck in places with abusers, with abusive family members or partners. Well, then they're not safe. If you're not sure, you know, if you've lost your job, if you're not sure where the next paycheck is coming from or where the next money to go grocery shopping is coming from, then your bottom of the pyramid needs are not being met. And it's going to be very, very difficult to be productive. It will be very hard to focus, to concentrate. It will be hard to try to be optimistic about the future when you don't know how you're feeding your kids this week. And you don't know how you're paying your bills. <sighs> so, what's the answer? All of this sucks. Like, there is nothing good. There's nothing good about this virus. There's nothing good about a pandemic. That's not to say that you can't learn things about yourself during this time. That's not to say you can't make personal shifts that are going to be really helpful to you. Of course. But this is not a good thing. Having our society, having our economy disrupted like this, not a good thing. Having our personal lives disrupted like this, not a good thing. Having our loved ones some eventually, um, you know, if, if you're a person who now like knows of someone who is sick with COVID-19 or who has passed away from COVID-19, there is nothing good about that. There is nothing good about this impacting your personal circles, your work circles, your community. There is nothing good about this. And we will find a way through. And some people, some of us, me included, may end up with some growth experiences out of this. And that's fine. But please don't demand it of yourself. Please don't beat yourself up if you're like, why am I not doing all these things right now? Because it's a pandemic. This is, it's a terrible situation. Hundreds of thousands of people are sick. 
and some are hospitalized and this is terrible and right now it's monday april 20th at the moment infection rates are still going up um in some areas especially but we have not hit the peak of this as an entire nation and of course different areas are peaking differently anyways but we've not this is this is not the end so if you're feeling anxious it's understandable if your brain's not quite working the way you think it should it's understandable and here is a little more of an explanation why as human beings we've got to have our baseline physiological needs met and then our safety needs met and then love and belonging to some degree before we can get to being creative and doing things and accomplishing things and achieving things you can't ask a starving person to you know create great art works of art like that's not going to happen so thoughts for today much much self-compassion for yourselves give yourselves lots of lots of heart love these are very difficult times very difficult times i know last week i kind of hit i hit my own freak out rough spot and i needed to step back which i did just it just kind of <laughs> happened wasn't exactly a plan but i stepped back from doing these videos and facebook stuff and i just had to take care of myself some time off an incredible virtual retreat animal time over the weekend and i'm better now than i was at the beginning of last week it's a wave process ups and downs ups and downs it's it's gonna happen please take care of you take care of your hearts take care of your bodies get some fresh air do some movement eat food drink fluids Keep yourself fueled as best you can rest when you need to sleep as much as you can as much as you need to don't worry about it if you're sleeping more than usual oh well oh well your body probably needs it and much much kindness to each of you be kind to one another let's support each other through this let's get through this until next time